Alrighty. Back again. I thought I'd do a little bit more Starfield this afternoon. Because why not? And I want to see if the robot catches up. <laughs> so... Hey, I see <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't actually know if it, this is quite the right date, but this is the one that Twitch picked and it said was fairly close. But yeah. Hey, Demon. Thank you very much. Right, we'll see if our robot companion has unstuck himself. I say, how have you been finding uh, Starfield, I see? How, how, <laughs> how many hours in are you? No worries, Demon. All good, all good. Hope, uh, hope work was all, uh, all okay. And is your, uh, is your internet all sorted at home now as well? As soon as one was good, we, we we did spend about an hour in character creator just going through options. We were were upset that there were only two real options for beards, um, so we've gone for the the, the far superior option. Uh, but hopefully, may, maybe there'll be some uh, some mod support for better beards in the future. It'll all be good. It'll be good. Hey, he's got born. How you doing? Let's load the game in. Straight to the I, I'm again. I'm. I. I was saying this morning. I want to just get through enough of like the first little bit of, of story, um, and then, uh, just so that I can get to yeah shipbuilding and base building stuff, and then yeah I'll probably be, yeah, be lost for a, for a long time. It'll be really good. I'll piece it back up and running. Feels slower than expected. <laughs> at least at least at least that one's back up and then you remember. At least that one's back up and running. Scottish born. Have you um, have you got the uh, the old motherboard, uh, the new motherboard, kind of awaiting a return, or have you got to wait until tomorrow? Hey, Ghost Warrior, how you doing? How do you spec out your ultimate ship and bait? Uh, not a clue yet. Um, I I haven't I haven't I've purposefully not looked at like what the options are, uh, in the in in the game so far. But I mean. I always enjoyed in No Man's Sky just like creating quite um, quite like detached uh, foundations of the base and then like building up and then kind of connecting things up through like those those kind of bridge uh, ways that you could you could connect up to in the the in the I guess the last content uh, building content update that they did a while back now where they started putting in the curve blocks that was quite nice so i don't know i mean again it'll be interesting to see what you can do with starfield but i'll be yeah i, I kind of like the idea of like some kind of cool looking uh observation-esque like base i guess maybe i'll try and find somewhere that's elevated up when i can look out on things so that'd be quite cool had less bugs than i got in in balls gate that i mean that's good i mean uh, touch wood i mean i've only been playing like this morning like three hours this morning but it's not been too the only bug i did notice this morning was again our, our robot companion got stuck uh quite severely and wouldn't wouldn't unstick so i we're currently adventuring alone in a in a portion where i'm pretty sure he should be here but we're currently hiding and i'm pretty sure i wouldn't have been able to sneak into this room if the robot had been following me about so that's that's all good Everything back in box contact to gigabyte. That's what I'm supposed to do, so. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's literally like the back and forth that I had to do, uh, Scottish one the first time. It, it, to be fair, initially it felt like Amazon was saying talk to MSI, MSI said talk to Amazon, and then in the end, I think, to be fair, when I went back to Amazon, they said, well, we can process it for you. Um, it's just if you wanted to leverage the like manufacturers, like returns but i said well if you're going to just replace it then fine 
but yeah, hopefully that'll be nice and quick for you then. And uh, yeah, let us know how you get on. Thanks, Timey. <laughs> it, it's um, that was the uh, is for it's the Twitch's arbitrary date that they've kind of picked. Uh, that's as close to my affiliate date apparently as possible. I, uh, <laughs> I I I feel like if I I feel like if I took like a month off work, I could I could be lost completely in No Man's Sky. Um, and I'd probably do it justice. The thing is, I remember like when the game first came out. I, I played an awful lot of the the base game when it first came out, and that was well before expeditions and things like that. And I don't know. I I still love just the exploration and base building part of of No Man's Sky and seeing what weird and wacky procedural planet has been generated and hopping about. There's a degree of it that I almost feel like maybe there's a bit too much going on at times, and it's a little bit difficult to I guess work out. Yeah, how like if I just want to dip in and just do a little bit of base building, it sometimes and like you've got the expeditions and everything else going on, it does feel like maybe at times there's a lot going on, and that's not a bad thing because it gives a lot of variety to lots of different players. But I guess where potentially I'm dipping in and of different games and things like that, um, yeah, it's sometimes easier just to do the solo aspects of it um, in just like the the main game rather than dipping in and out of expeditions. But it's always nice to see the different stuff they're doing, and again, great to see that the game still being so well supported this this far since launch so <laughs> all good scotch born yeah i mean it's gone through so many iterations right as you say i seen it. It, it it does almost feel like there's been three kind of fairly distinct phases of it uh so i mean it'll be, and again it'll be interesting to see where they go it doesn't feel like um they're planning on like slowing down um which is good. Yeah, I, I guess it would just be interesting to see where eventually it all kind of when it does perhaps start to settle. There, it it will be interesting to see where where it all goes. But I mean, the plus side is oh yeah, as you just said, the plus side is that all of that extra content has been completely free, which is a yeah a real testament to the work that they've done in improving the game and really changing it round since its launch. But yeah, I mean, it's, again, it's a fantastic game, and it's a game that I will always, you know, likely dip in and out of, um, you know, periodically because there's there's so much you can do, and I think that's nice because yeah, if you want to dip in and just do some base building, then you can go to town on that. If you want to dip in and do uh, something completely different, then you can. Uh, if you want to go just do some bounty hunting or missions, then you can. It's great. Right, let's let's see. Are we still hidden? Yep, we are. Okay, and the the robot hasn't like magically appeared, which I guess is a somewhat a good thing. So I've used my first pot, uh, my first perk unlock to get the little sneak bar at the top, which I'm I'm again. The, <laughs> nowhere does it explain the different like states between it, which is a little. I guess that's my only comment so far. And it's very early days, but it does feel like there's maybe some tutorial elements that could be perhaps a little bit improved. Like certainly the pick locking um, really caught me out this morning and it just took a little bit of time just to really wrap my head around what it was it needs to do. But I, I understand that now. That's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I mean, it is like certainly the like the ship uh, like navigating this ship around, certainly out in space and general com and like ship combat is quite arcadey. I'd agree. Um, there's a lot, as you say, there's 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 a lot to do. Um, so yeah, it, it it does depend. And and again, I think you have to like in fairness, you have to give it some time to work out how you want to play in that game. I mean, there's a lent, a lot of freedom in it. But that, that also doesn't help in some regards because there's no um, immediate clear focus. I think after like the first, maybe the first hour of tutorial missions, you, you can quite easily just kind of deviate quite substantially um, from it. But uh, it, it's, a, it's a blessing and a curse in some ways. It, it's trying to find that middle ground of being, uh, of having enough instruction in detail, but not being so restrictive that players feel trapped to do a particular thing, I guess, right? Not going for more weight. No, I because I felt, 
I felt like I would probably be all right. Although I have just saying that I have picked up an awful lot recently, which makes me think, yeah, when when I when I came in into this facility, I think I was only like 50 mass, and I'd offloaded a load of ro space rocks that I'd cut from, um, yeah, into into the robot into Vasco, but. Yeah, that Vasco Vasco isn't here anymore, so what what have I actually got all of my It's probably all of these weapons, right? These are Have these actually got weight attached? Yeah they do. Have I still got No oh, no that's is that saying yeah, it must be saying I've got two of them, right? Let me drop one. There we go. So we don't need one of those because that will help. I need one of those rather. Um I probably got a fair few um like, yeah, bandages and, like, food. I could probably just eat a bit. Heal paste. Mmm, delicious. I have been 500... Jesus, I see me. <laughs> nice. I think, I think the next... Don't worry, I think the next perk unlock will be more more weight. Can I play as a stealth? I mean, you could definitely play as, like, a, a stealth... Um, stealth space pirate. And then just use different like laser weapons, I guess. So I've just picked up the. I haven't actually fired this yet, but this is a laser weapon, a laser rifle, uh, which looks quite cool. That's actually uh, that's a bug I've noticed. Like in in this mode, you have to use right mouse. You have to press and hold right mouse button to rotate the object, which is nice. You can inspect it. But every time I press right mouse button, I'm not moving my mouse. But look, I let go, and it the mouse cursor jumps across the screen. So if I start here, press just press the right mouse button. It's just jumping, <laughs> which is an interesting bug. But so that that one looks quite cool. I've also got oh, got this rescue act early, which actually has a really strong um, melee attack. And I, I I didn't realize that the melee weapons when you equip them, you can still left mouse through like three animation stages for like a right to left cut. Uh, left to right cut and then a final like over the head kind of hit or straight down hit but then you can also press the melee attack button which is B and it will do a different animation attack animation it seems to be a stronger hit as well which is which is quite cool I got like, this little shiv as well you can definitely like, you can definitely stealth and shoot for sure I've got this little laser pistol that I need to try out as well um, yeah we'll see we're not great on oh just dropped the weapon there right anyway there's this there's a safe now watch me horrifically cock this up but I've, I've worked out the what I need to do for it you've got to fill in all the gaps with the picks uh, which is fine I've just got to work out the right way around because there's only one way as far as I can tell so far on all of these puzzles that these can work so for the outer ring looking at this the first lock does not or will not run in this one so it will go on to the inner one somewhere so let's see which so it can fit into that it can't fit into that or it could fit into that one so we'll leave it there for now so let's have a look on the outer so on the outer potential so it can't fit that set can it fit yeah okay so it could fit that one so we'll leave that one there for the time being and then if we move that round to there, that doesn't fit. Now, bearing in mind we've slotted these two, we only need this socket and this one. Apologies, I'm having to talk my throat because it's the easiest way for me to figure this all out. So I'm pretty confident that this one is going to again be used on the inside. Uh, so we're going to, in fact, um, in fact, we'll move this one round to... I can't remember which one was on the inside I've done so far. Move this around to there for now. I'm pretty sure this one is going to go there, which means for the outside, we've got this one and this one and this one covered off. So two and four, again, seeming to be doing the outer ring. And then for the inner ring, we've got this one, this one, and this one covered off, which means we need one, two, three, covered by this one. So let's rotate these round. That looks like it might do it. Yeah, one. So a gap there. So a gap on the bottom, gap on the top. Gap to the right, and then that should align with. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so I'm pretty confident we've got this one sorted as well. So let's lock that in there. 
that in there, that in there, and that in there. Yay, we've unlocked it. We've sussed it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, nice. 1,000. Uh, so we've got a, um, we've got a credit chip. Oh, yeah, we've got credits. Um, 1,454. I haven't, I haven't, like, gone anywhere yet that can spend credits, so I've got no idea, like, the volume of, like, worth. Um, and how much things cost yet, but we'll see. Stealth build is second best range build, and I'm combine it to its best. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I'm, 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 I'm sure there are definitely some stealthy options you can take. Oh, I didn't see that in my case though before. Frag grenade and fragmentation mine. Interesting. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here I need to nab. I've already looked in here. So let's go fire this weapon then, because there's definitely people out here. There was a guy up here before that was trying to. It was his flashlight that I think kept coming in. Yeah, there, there's one. I might wait for him to walk to the right and then... Oh, there's two going up the stairs now. Okay, so that's probably a good time to wait. I think I'm wearing the same like outfit as them. Oh, God. They saw me briefly. Yeah. That's fine. We'll wait. For a sec, and then we'll maybe we'll just make a run for it. Try and get in behind because I can see them there. I think there's stuff over. It's over there. We can creep behind. Where are they coming? He's coming downstairs again. All right, script. Gonna go loud. Okay, this weapon's great. It's the last guy. Yeah, there you are. Come on. Eat, please. Just come out and say hello. Ah, crap. Come on, radiology sign. Protect me. I throw a grenade. I don't really equipped, I don't think. Oh, okay. We're good. This weapon's great. Okay, I like the laser weapons. Ooh, an orange juice. Delightful. I think we're good in this section then. Let's see. There's so many things to loot as well. I'm just getting completely distracted. Like, oh, I'm supposed to go up here. Oh, but shiny, shiny piece of candy. Like, ooh, what's down there? Space trucker flannel. Yeah, why not? We don't need any more weapons. Let's... Ooh. See, the path problem is I'm picking up all these little plants and things I'm seeing so that I can show them to Millie later, but... Um... <laughs> it's adding weight! Take a finger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's very... Very reminiscent of Baldur's Gate in that regard. If it's not nailed down, you can grab it. Like this succulent. But I've already got one of those, so I don't need two succulents. Anything, anything worth opening or looting? Could use the scanner actually. That'll tell me. So right, let me eat some food. That will get rid of some weight. We can drink a beer. Ah, wow, yeah, minus 10% O2 recovery for three minutes, maybe not. Exactly, I, I might be able to sell it, but I've got so much stuff at the moment. Ooh, root beer. That's a plus two O2 recovery for three minutes. Okay, we'll, have, we'll drink that then. What have we got here? We've got chunks, chocolate, packaged. Nice. Not the beer. I don't think we need this, right? I don't think that'll do anything. No, it's fine. We've, 
we crafted a load of these before. So these treats concussions, lacerations. So it's interesting. There's different. There's obviously different types of, uh, I guess, damage you can take, which is cool. Uh, orange juice. I don't know if the O2 stat things. Um, I don't know if the O2 stat uh, like improvements uh, stack or not, but we'll we'll try one and see. Got water as well. We don't need that. Um, spiced worms. I mean, when in space, delicious. What's this? Heart plus improves fortitude and pain tolerance. Plus twenty percent health for two minutes. Okay, and damage resistance. That's pretty good. In fact, I might favourite that and put that on my health bar. Uh, that was... So that, okay, square bracket left. What's this? Five health. Marshmallow treat cereal. Mmm, delicious. Ramen. I've got plenty of med packs. So I could just use one of these, to be honest, but that's more beer. We'll save that. Is it chocolate or chocolate? I think it's probably chocolate. <laughs> Looking at how it's packaged, it might even be synthesized. This is because this is synth the meat ham. So yeah, <laughs> delicious. And synth the meat hamburger. I'm assuming all raw. It, you know, it's clearly fine in the. What will this be? It'll be in the twenty. Is it twenty second? Would it be the twenty second century? It's fine. They're clearly clearly advanced enough in their health regimes to um, yeah mitigate uh, an upset stomach. We I, I assume star oh, steak though, and that's synth for meat as well. What's this? Oh, that's quite useful. So plus six carry capacity for five minutes. Okay, so I need to remember that. Don't use that battle meal. United Colonies field ration. That's quite a cool. Uh... Oh, I've got an even. I've got a bulk pack of it. So that will Im Im restore twenty health and a plus eight carry capacity. Okay. Remember those. Right. In that case, we might just use one med pack as well, which will boost things up, and then we'll keep the rest of it. Cool. I must admit, to be fair, it it's quite nice playing a game again that has like a definitive pause for it, but. Uh, any plans for community games? Um, so I, I did speak to Millie this morning before she went off to work. Uh, we're definitely up for yeah playing some games tonight. I don't think there's any particular um, like plan in terms of what we play, but um, I think Millie was up for yeah just jumping on, seeing seeing who's about and who fancies playing some games. So more than happy, um, yeah, to to play whatever really. Um, perhaps not something. I, I guess it might be good to play something we've already all got rather than perhaps starting something brand new today but um yeah up up for whatever uh whatever you guys would like let's have a look in here well this looks creepy dark is staying here with me playing with everyone <laughs> i will have to i will i mean i I thought I'll jump back on after the F1 because I was, I really wanted to see what was in that safe um, and see if our robot companion would come back. I thought well, I can get in, a, in a, uh, a couple of hours now and then we'll play some community game nights. But I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow and uh, Tuesday I've got off work, so I will be streaming more Starfield. And we'll probably have a longer stream tomorrow and Tuesday because uh, there's no F1 in the week, <laughs> which is the only reason we stopped today. So. I'm not even looking at the things I'm picking up now. I'm just picking things up. This is really bad. Just full loot goblin. Ooh, that looks nice, though. It's modified. I don't really know what it means yet, because I don't know anything about mods. The game hasn't told me about them yet, but if it wasn't my PC woes... Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Scottish. <laughs> yeah, headcount first, but um, yeah, Millie and I are definitely up for it. If you, um, And then Timey and Demon, if you're up for it. And then I'm sure Ty's about... But yeah, more than happy if you guys want to put some suggestions in uh, Discord and we'll yeah see what we can do, for sure. I, I must admit, I've, I've enjoyed going back and playing um, Palmer Party, and especially the, the new maps on that. That's been good fun. I don't know if there's anything new on things like Witchit, 
or stuff like that that we want to try as well. Um, but they've just been fun. Just so it's, it's it's just nice to like have chill games like that that are e easy going but good fun. I should pick this up really, shouldn't I? Because it's um, ah, it's got a long barrel and a large magazine. It's better than what I've got, and it's worth quite a bit more. Yeah, I, I think Witcher might be a really good one to do, Demon, because I, I, yeah, we haven't played that in a while, and that was that was good fun. Can you order the use? Uh, is the USB I ordered for? So I have a new working USB. Well, that's good, Scottish. <laughs> uh, that's good. Uh, I mean, to be fair, you could check that there's prob there probably is a bio uh, BIOS update anyway that you could always flash onto the new board when that comes. Uh, what um, what processor is it out of interest that you've got? Let's drop that into slot one. Let's we'll keep it for now. We've got just enough mass space. But actually, can I? Is there now? Now that I've got a modified weapon, is there a? Is there a way for me to look at the mods? I'm, gu I'm guessing at some point I'll get shown like a modding screen or something. But not right now. Although I do want to try that laser weapon out, um, which was which one was it? It was that one. Oh, I can just drag it a little bit. Hammer? Hammer anyone? Anyone want a hammer? I five. Oh nice. Oh that'll um yeah. That'll be a very nice. Ooh, new helmet. They've all got different suits. I'm collecting them all, it's awful. I don't need this many suits. Actually, I could just drop some suits. That would save me some mass. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one I'm wearing at the moment. This sniper spacesuit, which I thought looked pretty cool. And the helmet design was cool. And then what else we got? We've got a pirate assault spacesuit, which actually is very similar. It's got the same helmet design. Uh, but this is the assault spacesuit. To be fair, that might be better because it's... There's no airborne protection, less radiation. It's better at phys with physical weaponry. Oh, then again, I would just pick up those energy weapons, though. Oh, it's fine. I'll keep both, and we'll maybe switch between. But I like those. Current one is an i7. Wow, so that's a huge upgrade. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's the only. It's the only kind of real problem of, with. I mean, the last upgrade I did was the 4080, which I absolutely love, and it's been fantastic. But I'm now at. I'm now at the the kind of upgrade breaking point on my computer uh, because to change anything further I'm going to have to change the RAM, motherboard, CPU and cooler. The only things I'll be able to keep out of it are going to be the GPU, power supply and the M.2 drives uh, because yeah my, my board's too old uh, for anything for anything else. Um, and I'm on yeah DDR4 and the DDR5 now, and the socket types all changed again, and the motherboard types all changed again. But the i9 is holding out nicely, so I'm going to wait as long as possible to do that. But a Millie has appeared. Look, there's a random hand. I'm just going to say hello to her. Millie says hi. Play games this evening, yeah? Yeah, yeah, they're up for games. Yeah. Uh, Demon's thinking he suggested Witcher, which is quite yeah. nice because we've not done that in a while. Yeah. yeah Millie, time. Millie likes the idea of wit, of of, of wit it, of of witch it. <laughs> yeah.
Millie says bye bye. Well, she'll be she'll probably be in chat in a minute. Yeah. Just bothering. Bother, bother, bother. My boy. <laughs> Bless her. Right. Thing from the other time, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The hand. Right, what are we looking to do? We're going to drop some... Ooh, I don't need my deep mining space suit anymore, surely. That's quite a hefty weight. The OG suit. Or do I want to keep it for posterity? But I was a dust... I was a, a dusty for such a brief portion of time. Can I even really call myself a miner? Is this really where I'm going to save my weight? Probably not. Is there a way to sort by mass? That would be quite useful. These are probably all pretty weighty. I've got loads of these. What the hell is this? Is that like a welder's mask? I don't know what that is. I don't need it, that's for sure. I mean, it's not taking up a lot of mass, but we'll drop that. I'm, I'm wearing a hazmat suit at the moment because it gives me the best stats. I don't need this utility outfit then. I'm not even really sure I need the nightwear option. I'm pretty sure I can find something more comfortable. Space trucker flannel is actually quite cool. I quite like that. Is that the same as this? No, it's not. Why is it not letting me compare what I'm wearing? What's before? Oh, that gives me character capacity plus five as well. Probably should wear those then. Well, that's fine. I can switch to that then if I need to later down the line. Yeah, that's what I thought, Timey. Yeah. I think... Oh, can I just... I can just wear that. I thought I could tie them together. Oh, you can on certain things. Not all things. Right, has not seat. It's fine. Engineering one, I can drop that one. I can drop the blue labour suit. And I'll keep that one. Right. We're freeing up so little... Great. What about helmets? Pretty just, I'm just keeping on this one. But you do have a challenge before you can level a skill, e.g., the weight one. You need to run a distance. Oh, okay. I did. I didn't know that. Um, I see. I'll have a look in a minute and see what the distance I need to run encumbered. Bother, bother, bother. Hey, Millie. <laughs> That's good tonight. Uh, Misk. Probably all the really heavy things. Yeah, look, it's all these things. Oh yeah, look, where, where, where is it? Um, I've stolen space plants for you, Millie, or to show you rather. Look, look, we've got this one. It's a lamp with plants in. And then where's the succulent? Look, I stole this from somebody's desk. They're dead now. I didn't kill them. They were already dead, but it's fine. You can sort by pressing Z. Aha! Does, ah, what does it sort by? Value. Oh, value and then mass. Lovely. That makes more sense. Thank you, Iceni. Uh, see, it does say down there. I was going to say, but why is it not telling me that? I'm just not looking at it. It's fine. Are there things in here that I probably don't need? The thing is, I think I was looking at all these things. It's like, oh, look, it's money. <laughs> I'll be able to sell this. It's fine. We'll wait, we'll wait until we need to not be encumbered. Let's... um. It was in physical, wasn't it? It's in fitness. No. Nope. It's in weightlifting. I don't think it's going to tell me until I unlock it, is it? What the challenge is, so we'll have to do that. So to perform this, I need to perform 10 sneak attacks as well. Okay, so I should start melee meleeing uh, things to get my sneak attack. Let's get my rescue axe out. Kuching. And let's go let's go melee some people. Have I been in here? Not yet, I think. What's in there? Just scratch marks. Just scratch marks. It's fine. Nothing scary has escaped in here, like a terramorph. It, it it's fine. But I think we've got everything we need from here. 
So it's going to be going through those doors and onwards. Right. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, credits. Digipix. Good. Credit stick. Emergency slate. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. Oh, good. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Ah, <laughs> oh, bless him. I'm pretty sure we know that this guy's dead. If silence, yeah, yeah. I think I, I think that's the one thing I managed to work out this morning <laughs> with the scanner, which was nice. Yeah, he did. Sorry, buddy. He didn't make it. Does that mean he didn't? Wait, is this the com relay? That's storage. Research. I don't think I don't think he made it. Or maybe he did, and then they, he was told to come back and wait, maybe. Ooh, another unlocking chance. Yay, luck pitch. Okay, so. Okay, it can't fit there. It can't fit there. It could fit there. Okay. So we've got that one, so then we need one and one, so we need something straight across, which could be that. So that would be the outer ring, and then let's have a look at the inner ring. Okay, so that could be that, which then just leaves the bottom one, which would be that. Okay, well this is by far the simplest one we've had to do so far then, I think. So this time it's one and three for the outer. And two and four, that looks right to me. There we go. I read Digipix totally wrong. Oh yeah. It's all right, uh, right at the beginning of the game, Millie, just after I'd finished uh, character selection you're being kind of led outside of the the space mining camp I think he was Australian uh, but I was speaking with one of the NPCs and he said something about oh it's 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 the digging uh, like we're, uh, how are you finding your digs and I was sure he said how are you finding your dicks and I, I yeah wasn't expecting expecting that kind, kind of game but you know Swings and roundabouts, but I think we're good. There we go. No, it's fine. The first time it was, um, yeah, sus. <laughs> oh, there's a deep space mining helmet. I don't need. I don't need that one though. I don't need it. It's worth a lot of money though. Okay. Well, I say a lot of money. I don't know. I don't know what money's worth. Let's, let's have a look on the computer before we go. Bum, bum, bum. Terramorph specimen. An alpha predator. Excellent. I go into my research. First contact nearly 100 years ago on a remote moon. Creature didn't appear indigenous and was alone. Currently, no record of how it got there. It was sheer cosmic chance that the astrologists found it, or rather, it found them. Quick to categorize it. Killing machine. Yep, that sounds about right. It just chose a simpler name, Terramorph. Yeah, fine. Of the eight-person squad, only two grunts survived, and one of those lost. One of those two lost a leg. Jesus. Who signs off such an exciting time to be in Xeno Warfare after reading that? Jesus. That's fine. That, that, that guy didn't make it anyway, as we as we have now found out. <laughs> right. Today, to fit the term for the NCI. If... Okay. So, it all went horribly wrong after that then. I'm probably going to need more than my axe.
decided you had some itchy pigs and a disregard for personal property rights. Okay. I can hear the Rubit talking, I just can't see him yet. Dead scientists, anything else? Tools on the wall. Ah! One of those earlier, I was opening a cupboard and it just jumped out at me and that scared the bejesus out of me. New pants, please. It was great. Exit. Mobilizer. What's this? This is literally alien. I can hear the terror more from <laughs> somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to think that whenever this happened, the marines that brought the terror morph here in the first place were then like, well, we'll, well, we should probably just bomb the crap out of the facility, right? Rather than keeping it? <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. Right, what's this one going to be? Is this one going to be a one and a two? I don't think it... Oh, no, it might be. So that one fills in that one. And then does this one fill in that one? It does. Okay, well, that's a nice, simple one then. One, two, three, four. Cool. Cool. Credits, did you pick? And some wire. Oh, piss off. Stop jumping about and scaring the shit out of me, please. I've just destroyed your nest. <laughs> Little heat leech. Look at that. That's definitely something out of Alien. Ugh. Eggs. Delicious. All right. Guess we're going up to the roof. Gross indeed, Millie. Gross indeed. Is the terror morph up here? I, I'm kind of thinking it's escaped or it's been like recaptured. Ah, oh, Vasco, you finally finally made it out of your little. I mean, to be fair, can I not just send him in first? He's the the big cool robot. It says exit. So. Also, actually, thinking about it, the the Terramorph probably can't be here because the pirates have taken over and they would have like, been eaten by it, surely. Unless they've managed to trap it somewhere. Wasn't it? A science crate. We've got a... What are you doing, robot? What have we got here? Rare item acquired. Oh, it's a shotgun. Oh, we should we should try the shotgun out then, really, shouldn't we? Oh, press the wrong button. The ether button, right? Ooh, that's pretty fancy. Uh, let's stick this on the pipe to number four. We don't need the little one. That looks cool. What's double barreled? Look at that. Pretty sci-fi. I like the look of that. Right. Ready, bud? Ah. You gotta be kidding me. The frontier has a new captain. So maybe we can talk you our way out of this. Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? Oh well, actually he gave it to me. I'm with Constellation, you need to stop taking our ship. I don't think I'm going to take Carney to that. I could lie and say I've taken it, yeah. We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. 
If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Okay. Well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try and say I'm with Constellation then. See if that means oh. anything to them. <laughs> You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. Looks like it's gonna be a good old-fashioned gunfight, boys. The, cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many I say, planets I, and I moons, didn't see much extra the only down things there. held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of and I don't care what kind nice. of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. No, no, you're not. We could try and persuade them, I guess. You're not talking us out of this score. Okay, that's fine. They they're not interested. It's all good. To persuade a person, you need to make this choices. Just make kind words, distractions, threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, it's this system. Fine. Shit, that sounds good to me, the frontier. It turns. I mean, I feel like, yeah. Don't give me that. I know that ship is stocked with loot. It, it's not. I promise. Just made it past your entire crew. I'm not sure like it. I mean, that's probably the best one to go for. Maybe. I don't know. Do they find me intimidating? We'll find out. So you got past they, a few they, rocks. they don't. Who cares? Ah. Take a moment and count how much you've ordered us. You want to do more? Hey. Yeah. This whole thing is starting to cost more than I'd like. Uh huh. Okay, so I just need two points. Something out. Aha! Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. We Delightful. Should now be free to travel to constellations headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Woohoo! Can I? Is there anything else around here? I wanna I wanna find out what happened to the Terramorph. Maybe nothing happened to the Terramorph. That was a good good little jump there, bud. Have they got anything hiding down there? Helium dispensers. Okay, because there's the ship. It's a bit creaky up here. Actually safe. Just to be running about. A pack. Fast travel should open the scanner. Okay, that'd be useful. Oh, weapons case. Uh, I've already got a Grendel. Alright, well, in that case, I mean... We could, we could have a look down there, but... I think I think we're good for now. We can always come back, right? Look to the ship and press E over it, fast travel. Okay, there we go. To the ship... Captain, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system. Press tab, missions in the bottom section. Got, yep. So which quest is being tracked in your heart? Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of the open objectives. Select any objective in the quest to track the whole quest. Okay. Sounds smart. Um... Set course. Alpha Centauri. Bro, let's jump. We'll save the new shotgun for another time. Do not worry. This 
Okay. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. It's a pretty cool looking ship already, but it'd be cool to maybe modify it a bit. To New Atlantis. I mean, just look at it. It's the scale. The scale is is from what I've seen so far is really good in in this game so far. Oh, hi there. You should see some of the ships we just had in here. Like their owners for decorating their ships with heat leech nests would be a nice <laughs> touch. Shouldn't find any here, sir. Hey, Bosco. What? No parrot? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? <laughs> Sounds like he's done this to people before. Just nab them from somewhere and then. Uh... And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. I probably do. A thousand credits. Does it need repairs? Oh, I can modify though. I would try to viewport. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Okay. Sure. How about it? Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> so we could just modify the ship. My credit. I've only got 6,592, so probably not quite enough yet. So if I wanted to change weaponry... Ship upgrade mode will allow you, allows you to make improvements to your ship without needing to worry about where the module should be placed. Okay. So upgrade to the level of skill requirements. Multiple upgrades can be made. Costs will be added up at the end of the session. Dear Lord, look at look at that. That's expensive. All right, I'm definitely going to have to do some serious ex exploring, space exploring, and bring back some space treasures to afford all this. Missile launchers. Oh, shiny. Stop looking at the shiny weaponry. Engines. So is this what they've currently got, White Dwarf engines? I mean, it's an expensive ship then. Or is this saying what it could put on? What have I already got on? Yeah, I've got White Dwarf. Ah, oh, White Dwarf 2000 engine, so I could upgrade it to a 2010 model. What would that actually improve? Mobility, mass, jump range stays the same, top speed stays the same, but other things. It's just mobility more than anything else. Jesus. Shield, okay, it's my shield protector. So I could upgrade that. Yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a load of money. <laughs> but that's fine. What about if I okay ship builder? Here we go. It allows you to fully design, modify, and paint your ship. The floor gauge to the right tells you when 
new modules uh, will appear. The floor gauge is at zero, for example, a new module must be placed in the center mass of the ship. Building new ship modules will cost credits. Deleting them will give you credits back, fine. Ship builder will keep running total on the process of traction, fine. There is a flight check that will give you any... Okay, cool. If your design is invalid. Okay, that, that's good to know. No worries, Timey. Have uh, have a good food. And yeah, we'll um, see you in a little bit. Ah, uh, so yeah, so this is where you can, like, fully design and, like, change things. So what's this? Is the, those are the weapons. I just move it off? I can't. Okay. If I wanted to make it, like, a long neck. <laughs> Not that I even know what I'm doing, but... Um, what have we got? I'm not, I'm not going to change anything right now. It's just interesting to have a little play. Add. Structural. Here we go. Breaking engine. Porthole. Just put one on top somewhere. <laughs> Amazing. What have we got? Wings? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna. Gonna end up spending a lot of time here, yeah, because I guess you could add on to the sides probably and just build out into some weird and wacky shape. That's quite that's more like of a racer esque frontage. <laughs> Oh, there's so many, so many options. Landing bay, cargo, cockpit. Here we go. So that's what I've got now. The uh, like, uh, two. We've got the C1. We've got the. as well oh it all looks good docking ports there are more options as well just make us ah, amazing in different places sweet oh so cool so you can actually find different like components depending on where you go awesome grab drives yeah Ah, uh, this is fantastic. Okay, that's cool. We don't have enough money to do anything right now, so that's all good. Cancel modification. There we go. So we'll keep the frontier as it as it is right now, and then we'll look at changing some bits and upgrading bits as we go along, and then maybe one day when we've got a bit more moolah, we'll build something proper funky looking. Well, background. I I picked an explorer background. Do I actually need to repair the ship? I mean, I guess I should keep it running, right? Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. Oh, okay, I don't need any repairs. Then that is fine. Everything looks Thank you good. kindly, sir. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Thank you. All right. Is this the booth? Ah, oh, we can sell stuff here. Excellent. Right. Sell all of the things. <laughs> Don't sell them. Do you sell them. Do you sell that. A 
old but uh, old Earth base, but I stole that from inside the ship. Use pick cyber uh, cyberneticist. Nice. That's the um. With the dream home trait. Ah, sweet, cool, nice. Well, as a, as a cyberneticist, one would hope you've worked on worked on uh, some cybernetic implants for the rich and famous, and uh, made yourself some good good moolah. Sell all of this. There we go. Right, that's got our mass down a little bit there. Resources. Is it worth keep? Uh, they can be used in crafting, but I don't know if we're going to need that yet. I mean, none of them are worth. Nothing's worth a huge amount, right? So we could just hold on to it for a while. Now I need to pay. Yeah, I did see that. I was tempted, but I was like, well, I maybe, I maybe I'm not a rich and famous explorer yet. Maybe I've not found my big thing yet. We were also looking at the. Um, what was it? The the kids perk, which we thought was a little bit oddly named, considering yeah, you're paying, you're sending money home to your to your aging parents, two percent every week or something. I think it was. Do I want to sell any space suits? I quite like this one for the time being. Let's get rid of the other one. Your mum and dad are supposed to look like... Oh, okay. That would be quite cool. What, you mean they'd both be bored and have beards? <laughs> I've got anything here we could sell. Sell oh, those. Um, weapons. Any weapons we want to get rid of? Oh, get rid of that one. Oh, excuse me. And that one, and we'll keep the rest, I think, for now. Okay, that's reduced our mass down a little bit, and we've got a few more credits as well. It's the Dwarven Way. Well, it's very, tr very true. Very true indeed. This unbroken attack on the United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of course, uh, if that's your sure possible. Pretty cool view. Uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just. <laughs> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327 HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to Master ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment this far has been. That's quite cool, just to see another ship come down right next to us whilst we're trying to bother, bother the NPCs. What's the gravity like here? Okay, just a little under Earth, which is why I can jump up a little bit higher. celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last week and kind of smelled it. But I don't smell anything here. <laughs> um, no, yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my <laughs> calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state-of-the-art. State-of-the-art, you say? Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. A little unfair, don't you think? Three Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted, no questions asked. Even helped with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Yes, and I want to follow this person. To coordinate some details with security. 
She can't do this to me. I'm really rather busy. Well, I'm sorry. If you'll excuse me. Okay. Come on, Vasco. We're not wanted here. Hello, little robot. <laughs> Electronic groan. Nice. Alright, well, I guess we'll uh, head on up. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. I could probably take my helmet off now, couldn't I? Is it is it rude to walk around with your helmet on? I don't know. What's the uh like, yeah, I could put this on, don't use. Is it off now? Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's my beard gone? Whoa. Whoa. What's happened to my beautiful beard? Game? Where's my beautiful beard? <laughs> I definitely had a beard in Character Creator. What the hell? I want my beard back. It's not there. What? Where's my beard gone? Oh, here we are. I can hide beard in breathable areas. But is that is that not now? Like now's a breathable area, right? Yeah. Where's my beard? Give me my beard back. What's the game done to me? I, I, but, but the beard. <laughs> I've killed 17 people, apparently. Five locks picked. Status effect, missing beard. Wherefore art thou, missing beard? I don't like it. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep my helmet on. Screw you guys. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Thanks. Hey, Doc Fairy, Doc Fairy Silby on. How you doing? How's your weekend been? Citizen. Citizen. Citizen? We go over there. It's been fun. Yeah, yeah, really good, thank you. I have, um, yeah, I've had a really, really nice weekend so far. I, um, I was up in uh, Bedford uh, yesterday with some friends, um, going around uh, several different racetracks, driving all sorts of really cool cars, um, safely but at silly, silly speeds as such. And I got a chance to. to drive a Formula 3000 car which was absolutely fantastic uh, yeah lo lots of fun lots of driving my arms and everything still ache a bit today but yeah had a had a really good had a really good weekend and today yeah been it's been it's been great fun as well been playing some Starfield stopped to watch the F1 yeah it's great if you want to see any of the bit I put I put some of the pictures on discord actually of, uh, of the motorsport day yesterday but yeah What is that? I want my beard back. Oh, you've clipped it, Millie. Nice. I will look at. I will save that for later. It's rude, right? That there was a beard. I had a beard this morning. It was a this beautiful is beard a new as well. Atlantis Transit or <laughs> the Net. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take cool. it directly to the Mast District. Okay. And away we go. The bed is important.
There is an enhanced doors that can change your looks. Okay, so maybe we need to go there and just see if it plops the beard back on. I don't know why it's not there anymore. <laughs> Water is quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. It's a pretty cool looking place. Yeah, <laughs> enhance. <laughs> Can it enhance everything? Make sure she knows now. Good. I'll see you at the 11:30. I'm not eavesdropping. I'm just, I'm just being nosy. Ugh. Wish that bartender at the viewport would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Ah, okay, there you are. Yeah. Bartender at the viewport. That's a that's a side quest. Subtle drop. If I've ever heard one. You can also talk to a companion and dump some stuff in the entry. Yeah, I've I've dumped some stuff with Vasco for the time being, which has been useful. He's got all my rocks. <laughs> uh, I need to go the other way. I'd have laughed if it had just popped up saying "fetch guard cup of coffee." Side quest. Pretty fancy looking place. Interesting. Interesting trees. I like it. What's Vasco doing? Spinning his hands. Cool. Yeah, he's the rock hauler for sure. <laughs> you can sell from your ship cargo hold when it's Ah, sweet. That Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Come with the watch. Wait, why is, where are my clothes gone? I was wearing my armor a minute ago. <laughs> I was getting a cough for someone in game. It was mandatory, and the game wouldn't progress. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. The library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Steal a bowl. Hello. We appear to have a visitor. Knock, Welcome knock. to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Be careful about stealing their things. It's fun to make yeah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't go around like at the beginning stealing everyone's sandwiches. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? Pirates. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. <laughs> uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some uh, random it, it, employee it's, it's my ship that now. discount mining outfit he uses. <laughs> Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. Whoa. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Exactly. Thank you, Mateo. I'm an explorer. Now, let's focus on that what's in front of us. Would be explorer. Shall we? 
What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Uh, Hear anything? Yes, it thwacked me in the head and gave me a scar. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Tom answers regret uh Chris conversation. Anything has question mark under the top answers. Cool. Ah, cool. Thanks, Scottish Born. This is the greatest That's good tonight. in the universe. Why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? What no compass? I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. What are they doing? Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have, the artifact. If you could place it on the table here. I'm gonna steal this first. So I take it, because Yep. Cool. Okie dokie. That's good to know, Scottish born. That's it. Check it on the Just table. And to imagine you thought there were only two of them at first. Oh, oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy that girl. Breathe. Mm -hmm. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence uh, outside the settled more system. More pieces. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godric? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, hmm. now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Yeah, why not? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal, another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. Well, I'd prefer I to keep my feet dry, thank you very much. But, um... In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? <laughs> you'll need it out boost. of the field anyway. Just mind your head. <laughs> nice. Okay. So we've got a large key, we've got 8,000 credits, and a boost kit by the sound of things. New mission, the old neighborhood. And looks like we can talk to Sarah Morgan some more. What else did we get then? Let's have a little look. New items. Constellation pack. Ow, oh, cool. Boost pack. So compared to, because, yeah, we've got this tunnel mining pack at the moment, which doesn't have, I don't think it has much support for any, yeah, it's not actually a boost backpack, is it? Sweet. Let's equip that. Looks cool. Yeah, our, our gear so far looks, it's, it's got it's got a good look. I want to try the shotgun out at some point. Looks good. Got logic keys, we've got access to that, and we've also got this, which is fine. Okay, and then missions. So we can do these as well, and we've got. Awesome. Oh, we leveled up as well, didn't we? Um, so we've got a skill point to do. So, yeah, the weightlifting. One is probably a good one to do, right? Because 
we're going to be grabbing more stuff <laughs> pretty quickly, I guess. I don't think. Or do we need to actually use this? Do we need boost pack training to be able to actually use it first? Because maybe we want that. I think otherwise everything else can like wait until we get to a natural point of needing to choose it. Let's go. Let's go with the. Um, Go with the boost pack so I can actually use it straight away. I don't. I don't know if it's restricted because I, without it or not. But equally, I could do the weightlifting just to increase my carry capacity. But as you say, I need. I'll need to um, complete the challenge right for it. Uh, what should we do? What should we do? We will. Um, what's my carry capacity right now? Screw it. Let's let's do the. Um, let's do the boost pack training first then. Uh, okay boost jump 10 times while in combat fine so that's that's all good we'll do the weight weight next mm -hmm. talk to Noel about quarters we've always considered ourselves explorers but this really is uncharted territory isn't it a little bit oh whoa, whoa, whoa. come back Walter, you don't have to answer this, but I was wondering something. You're around the lodge a lot, like almost all the time. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that bother your wife? Ah, yes, well, my wife and I have something of an understanding. I'm told that when I'm not here, I'm distracted by what I might be missing and wind up crabby or my personal favorite, irascible. My wife has therefore decided it is best if I can dedicate my time to our business here for now. For both our oh, sakes. So, so she's kicked you out of okay, the house, then. Walter. I guess if you're both okay with it. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. A little bit. I mean, I this morning I was a dusty mining rock, and then I got I flacked in the head by it's magic really nice space rock. And thank thing. you for bringing the artifact to us. <laughs> Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon. He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people report in these situations. A lot of people. <laughs> I'm not saying you didn't really see anything. Just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? How many more times do I have to get hit in the head with a space rock? <laughs> of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Uh, okay. Oh, gosh, no. I mean, that's, that's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you ah. arrived, we only had the two, <laughs> and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition, I'm looking at everything. 
One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Okie dokie. Organic stuff, got it, yeah. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Sweet, okay. Note to self, Walter has money. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think yeah. find a spot. I mean, I hope not. She didn't, she didn't way, specify, did she, Scottish born? <laughs> So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Mateo I trust you're has still made more than a few with your choice to join Constellation. Gardens are out the doors there. I'm glad to hear it. If you need a moment of you well, could have done just about we're having a conversation. Emphasis on so, the quiet part. Ah. Important At least you feel valued here. Let's head upstairs. You Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder. No. Nope. This place built decades ago. I'm, I'm just following Noel at the moment. Thank you. It was a big to do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I'm sure I will be. I'll explore these other rooms in a sec. Although I assume they're the other kind of quarters of the constellation team. Ooh, a bar! I got some beer on tap. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. Mm -hmm. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. Ooh, Martini. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so warm. Kitchen. Okay, this will be you. Common room oh, on one okay. side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. <laughs> I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Thanks. Well, this is a nice room. Have I watered the plants? I've given them a spritz. Yeah. No, I did. I did just before the F1. I did Starfield, watered plants, got some food, and F1, and then Starfield. <laughs> um, I was going to give the plants along the front, though, uh, the other side of the wooden beam, um, a water uh, a bit later, though, because it was a bit hot out. But I did, I did all the plants and the planters and things, so. And the chili plant as well, so. But yeah, I can I can do the rest in a little bit. Ooh, Moby Dick. Yoink. It's not nailed down, that means I can steal it. No worries, Doc Fairy Sylveon. Thanks for uh thanks for stopping by and lurking. Hope you have a good. Uh, hope you have a good stream. Wonder if the change may be Dick in the future to be space whale. Ah, the space whale. Yar. Couch. What else have we got up here? Oh, that's the watch case. Oh, that's cool. Well, that can that can stay there. I don't need to sell it. I think that's my store piece apparently for like the like 
full like premium like the super deluxe physical edition um you got like a replica watch and it came in like a similar kind of case to this which i bet would have looked pretty cool card game with dave so mad my <laughs> excellent madness is always always good on stream well i hope you have hope you have fun Um, what were my what were my missions? Or can I sleep? I can talk to the bartender. You also got a credit, which I think was a USB with the game code. That's really cool. Scottish born, yeah. Like I, it's been a long time since I well, what one since I bought a physical copy of any of anything. Like a box copy. Um, I'm trying to think the last like physical thing that I bought that I paid like. Yeah, I think it was like 250, 260 pounds or something. It might have been been a little bit more, but um, yeah. I mean, again, I think back to like like the Elder Scrolls, like like Oblivion. I think I think Oblivion was probably the last like solid game that I bought that had like a really nice chunky game manual in it. And I remember, I remember it, it, it arrived in the post just as I was going off to school. And I remember quickly opening the case up, taking the game manual out and taking it to school with me and then like reading it at like lunchtime and stuff and then coming back and then, and you know, installing it and playing it and things like that. It was nice to have something physical like that. Yeah, get like a cool metal case and an art book and things like that. It was yeah, it was nice. Um, and it is it's a shame in a way. I mean, I again, I get it. You know, a lot of people you know, don't see the point now, especially as everything's like downloadable. Uh, but again, from a collector's perspective, or again, if you're a real fan of a, of a game franchise or something like that, then it's just a nice keepsake as well. Um, and I guess you know, with with the the constellation edition you know having like a physical watch and a nice carry case for it and things is, is quite a nice touch as well because well, yeah yeah no thank you can i go to sleep will they get pissed off if i go to sleep first maybe we'll quick save and then have a little have a little ziz oh here we go you just have a little ziz maybe a little hour sleep Oh, that's interesting. So that's I guess that's universal time. So one local hour is two hours five minutes in universal time. Yeah, well let's just go for a little. Let's have a little little rest of the eyes. Freshen up. They are awake and feeling restored. Beautiful. Right, let's go and go and explore then. Yeah, I, I feel like, and like, because I think it's the same, like, you could sit on the toilet in the uh, frontier, right? So it feels like maybe that should be modelled differently, that you maybe you could take, like, a short rest, like, a limited number of hours break on that. <laughs> I don't know. Otherwise, like, what's the point in being able to wait on that as well as go to the bed? This is a cool model, though. This is cool. I like this. It's slightly different to the frontier. Got dual engines at the back as well. That's cool. I like that. What's in here? That's somebody else's room. Should I be in here? If I steal stuff from in here, will I get inaccessible? I'm guessing I probably shouldn't be in here. Yeah. Run away! <laughs> Probably close my door. Hearing the frontier is an OP ship in terms of what's available. Oh, sweet. Only one that allows research. Buying buildings. Right, yeah, in terms of the modules, cool, yeah, because there is that uh, research station already, isn't there, which is cool. 
Ooh. It does make me laugh that all these things just got yeah, take. I was like, what if I just want to like turn on the projector? I don't want to take the tissues. And step away. Right, so if that's the common room there, have I got someone very much focused on their Zen. Ah, oh, wow, this person's got access on both sides. Oh, a big building. Aha, we've got a little lab. This must be um, Noel's room then. I can take stuff from here. Okay. There's the pharmaceutical lab. What does the immobilizer do? Yeah, designed to provide ridge support for it. I mean, I think I've got one. Maybe I'll save some bits for use in the future. Because hey, there's currently there's the research station on the frontier, so I can. My friend will be. <laughs> Amazing. That's cool. That's where it just came from. Right, where else? As well. That toilet, bathroom. Yeah, lovely. Just I'll close the doors. Housekeeping. Greetings, Walter Stroud. How may I enter? Just checking it. Okay, and then these go out to the front. well within established parameters. Right. I pour myself a pint. Yeah, running. Just the one pint, actually. <laughs> Just nab a bottle of uh, red wine. Lovely. Storage cupboard, of course, of course, yeah. Room is this? Just another storage room. Another looks of things. Somebody else's room. Oh, I can go a few rounds with the old punching bag. Board game. Attention to detail is very cool. Go down and talk to Sarah then. See what other trouble we can get up to. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I would I like my beard back. Service, Captain. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I understand. You Actually, I could go ahead and do There was I was just thinking just to explore. I assume I could go out and explore. I could go out and just do I could do these two things. I could check out the conversation with board and I could then talk to the bartender at the viewport and that might be fun. Right, so where's the Ha! Ah. Ding dong. Oh, cool. Okay, so we can just, I can periodically just come back here and then and pick up some missions. So, ah, see, this is where this is where I can make my credits. <clears throat> Locate a primordial network in Gunny View. Square exports. Okay. Okay. I mean, should I? I Excuse me, maybe I should just accept that one. 
come to it at some point, right? Industrial workbench, what can we do here? Industrial workbench allows you to create basic manufacturing components which can be used to build structures. Your outposts and crafting mods. Ah, for weapons and resources. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We make frames and all sorts. This is what I need all those bits for. Okay, cool. Good to know. Nice little workshop. And then what else have we got in here? Can I take this box? Yoink. Spacesuit workbench. Uh, hello. Ah, so is this where I can apply mods and things? Ah, here we go. Yeah, okay, fine. So this is where we can do mods and things. Interesting. So I can give it extra capacity, hazard protection. Cool. So it's got four mod slots. Wow. Ballistic shielding, EM shielding, energy shielding. Cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. And then I guess there's going to be one for weapon. Can I take these? Are these guns available to me? Weapon workbench. Here we go. Yeah, so this can have... All sorts, then I guess. Ah, oh, I can make it a sawn off. <laughs> That's cool. Is it actually improving any damage output? It's not. Value goes up, mass gets reduced, range is reduced, and accuracy is reduced. Not sure that's that's worthwhile. What about this? Stealth lasers. <laughs> Amazing. Cool. What about the um I've got the modified one. Should we have a look? Never understood why people just chop off the end of public. No, I mean I don't know if it was like as a like a concealment or easier to carry, maybe? Yeah, ease of carrying, yeah. I don't know. I guess maybe you could like like if you were like wearing like a overcoat you could hide it easy I don't know <laughs> we got muzzle we could add a compensate oh I could add a suppressor to it so I could make a silenced weapon accuracy would go up value would go up range would come down a little bit mass would increase a little bit What's the long barrel giving me in terms of it's giving me quite a bit more range. Accuracy is better as well. Tactical stock. For a species intent on living as long as possible, surely find quality choice. Yeah, this is it. It is it it <laughs> As you say, like Why, why, why cut off the barrel of a perfectly good weapon but <laughs> a large magazine internal hair trigger increases fire rate actually it's quite a substantial fire rate increase damage done high powered high velocity okay cool receiver is fully automatic we can make it semi-automatic that's quite cool as well damn the weapon uh, the Damage output is a lot higher as well. It's huge. Devalues it, interestingly enough. I've got any I because I don't think I've got any weapon skins. I'm kind I'm kinda of tempted. I'm kinda of tempted to put a um, silencer on it, a suppressor on it. Yeah, I want to live as long as possible, but I'm also going to take the end of this gun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's... I don't have all the components for that. Do I have the components for... Probably don't, to be honest. I've got that. 
Okay, well that's fine. So I can come back and when I've got more bits and build up weapons. Although, what about my pistol? Might be fun. I guess it's going to be the same thing. Some kind of silenced weapon would be would be useful to try and do those stealth kills, perhaps. That's really cool. I, li I like that that work that workbench principle. And we've got even more here. We've got the pharmaceutical lab and a cooking station. <gasps> Space chef, <gasps> alien jerky. <laughs> Amazing. I can make an alien scram <laughs> scramble, just scrambled dish from alien eggs. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh dear. Alien tea. Steeped alien plot. I mean, like, yeah, that's, that's that's tea. Ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah, that's what we want. Right. Okay, so save individual ingredients, turn them into, uh, cook them into better things is the uh, name of the game, I think. Uh, right, what was the other mission I could do? I, uh, I need to learn the hotkey for missions. It's not M. So I can do that one at some point. Let's go let's go talk to the bartender. Let's go let's go off roading. And we'll come back to the lodge. I need I need to clear my head from all the weirdness I've seen in this room. Quite a strange little uh, little place nestled away here, is it? Oh, got my boost pack. Nice, that's quite cool. See how it looks in third person. That's quite cool. That's quite a nice little nice little boost. I'll um yeah I'll definitely upgrade that with other things later on. And I quite like, rather than like a stamina bar, you've got this O2 bar, which is essentially dictating what what you can do. It's very pretty. I don't know if I should be standing up here, but I'm going to... Guessing it's below me. That's actually quite useful to uh, curb. Let me there. Let's go and have a look. Can I jump off the side without dying? Oh, that's maybe not. That looks potentially risky below me. Let's just run, just run around. Run around. There we go. That's cool. stand on this? Oh, it's, yeah, it's a little glass bridge. <laughs> Is that a fish? I heard a splash. This place looks fancy. What's here? You got this? Okay. Welcome to an... We don't get very many visitors here. It really makes the day fall by. I need people like you. Unfortunately, I'm not authorized to make appointments myself. Okay. I'll I'll come back. Bye. Strange place that I don't know where it is. Well then if you're aware but there is ads they don't show when I first arrived, but they're every hour after there's a Yeah, yeah, no, it's um they are if I run an ad once every I think it's, if I run, I think they're, what are they set out at? It's just to stop Twitch doing pre-roll ads, basically. Um, what are they set to? Annoyingly, there's no way to shut it, shut it off. Um, yeah, they'll be every, they'll be every like hour's worth but i think i've the only thing i can customize is i offset them so they do they don't run in like the first i think 15 minutes of someone joining 
It's worth me reviewing, actually, because I haven't looked at it in a while. Where are the set airstream? Let's just check quickly what they actually are set to. Where is it? Yeah, so I think it's set so that so Twitch, I think, can decide how long the length is up to a maximum amount. So I think, and I think it's within an hour's period, if you show a total of three minutes worth, then that disables the need for them to do any pre-roll ads when someone joins, which is, which I thought, which, it, yeah, it seems to be like the best way of managing it. Um... Where where do I even go for ad settings these days? God knows. It used to be so easy to see. Da, 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 da. Some creators think turning them off is actually is actually them off. Get back to them. Yeah, there's no there's no way for you can't turn anything off off because Twitch. Well, if you turn if you if you don't use the ad manager, Twitch just decides when when and where, which is really sucky. But it's at least good to have some control over it, I guess. But where the hell is it? It's a good point. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Just check. It is settings. Partner affiliate ads manager. That's it. There we go. Settings affiliate. There we go. Yeah, so the only the only thing you, we can turn on or off is allowing subscribers to watch content ad free. Thank you for the hydrate and for the and for the stretch. Actually, I need to go put on a glass video in a sec. Oh. Um, so yeah, ad free viewing is enabled for subs, and then there must be, yeah. Here we go, ads. Yeah, so da, 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 da. yeah, so here we go. So I yeah, I've got the setting enabled so that pre-roll ads are disabled when I run ads. So as long as I run three minutes, that gets an hour of pre-roll ads. Yeah, so basically within an hour's period, as long as I run three minutes worth of ads, uh, it will ensure that there's no pre-roll ads. Um. So that's, I believe, what I've got set up. So it should do, what is it set up as? Da, 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 da. Long pre-roll ads and incoming viewers. So that should be disabled. Yeah, pre-roll ads are disabled for incoming viewers. That's, sorry, that's it. It's not, it, so the first 10 minutes, no one should get an ad. And then after that, you'll, get a 1.5 well potentially a 30 minute to 1.5 minute and then there'll be another one I think thir uh, 40 minutes that will then make up the other bit of time and basically by having that that then adds up to the um, ad as long as that adds up to oh here we go actually it says here it's 1.5 ad minutes per 30 minutes so within a 30 minute cycle it will ensure that um, yeah, there's up to 1.5 ad units so that per hour we do three minutes worth of ads, which means that all pre-rolls uh, pre are disabled. Which I think, which which feels like the best, like, because I, I absolutely hate join, joining channels at the moment and it's just pre-roll ad after pre-roll ad, especially if you've been flicking through the list and maybe on the thumbnail you've spotted something at the corner of your eye that looks uh, interesting to you and you want to see that straight away and then the first thing is, oh, I've got a minute and a half or 30 seconds worth of ad before I can even see it, um, which sucks, but yeah. 
it's it's the best I can do right now. Right, I'm just gonna go fill up my water actually quickly, and then we'll uh, we'll carry on with this barkeeper mission. <laughs> I must admit, though, I, I I do I do forget about ads now on Twitch because a lot of the channels that I watch regularly, I have a sub to, and I think most of the creators have it have that setting switched on that if you're subbed, you don't get ads. Although I think equally, probably some creators have probably disabled that now, so to try and improve the ad revenue, but it is what it is. The heart of the settled system. Right. Let's go speak to the barkeep about whatever it was that they needed us to do. I actually can't remember. <sighs> what was our mission here? Talk to the uh, bartender at the viewport. Okay. By Vectera, by Vectera, by oh, good Vectera. God. I can't believe it. Is it you? Is it really, really? <laughs> it's you? my adoring fan. Captain this was one of the, the, tr with the weird traits Bay we chose, wasn't it, this beat. morning? Constellation Amazing. Shining, star of stars. Amazing. So they've got scavenging, concealment, and weightlifting. Because they they will um they'll join us, I think, as a member of our crew. Get away from me, you weirdo! Amazing. Oh, you are definitely the brightest, biggest star in any constellation. There's no maybes about it. I have an eye for. I don't feel bad that they've not got a name. It's just adoring fan. That halo on your head. <laughs> Although at first, I wasn't sure if it was just the glare. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. <laughs> but I changed my routine for one day and I did wonder why that NPC are. was just like running at me. <laughs> it's almost like it was meant to be. Or oh, you're stalking me. <laughs> Look, I was just minding my own business and you came up to me, yeah. Oh, yes. Normally, I start my day by drinking four cups of coffee and stuffing my face with chunks. <laughs> but after being inspired by your story, I thought to myself, what would the great and powerful hero of Vectera do? And so instead, I went for a jog. I ran okay. and I ran and I ran, picturing you in the distance. Like a yeah, North might star. might need to talk to security Imagine about a. Uh, I'm surprised to find you were actually real. That's some kind of restraining of order, or maybe just it again just restrain them to the ship. Me too. I was minding your business as well, visualizing, <laughs> it, dreaming, Creepy. It, and tending <laughs> to it like a garden in bloom. And now here it is, our first spring. Either way, <laughs> it's such an honor to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Do you mind if I follow you around? Uh, you sidekick? I, I, I do not. What am I saying? You're a hero. Of course you do. Lead the <laughs> way. Or. Oh, can I, can I just tell them to go? I mean, that would kind of be a waste of an initial trait, right? <laughs> Good point. I'll start working on it right away, as soon as I learn how to sew. Excellent, okay. Until then, maybe I can be a sidekick in training. Do you have an academy where fans can practice uh, groveling at your feet? Uh, if not, I can start one. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, sure, why not? If he's going to scavenge stuff and bring me stuff, then yeah. You won't be disappointed. I'm pretty sure I will. It's fine. Manager crew, review and change their assignments. Uh, 
Oh, uh, it's fine. I can just I can push them off onto another another ship or outpost. It's fine. Different crew, different skills. Fine. Change your Doring fans assignment to the frontier. Sure. All right. Bye. See see you later. I guess. Oh, you're just gonna stand there. Okay. All right. Don't don't follow me. Stay. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. The viewport. Ooh, it was very bright in here. Yes, what? Howdy. Hello? Do you have room for one more on your crew? Uh, maybe. I'm not asking for much, just a reasonable share. 14,000? Uh, I don't think I should. Can I persuade Why them? Is that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. Uh -huh. I do it, but only because I really need the money. Whoa, seven thousand is still a lot. Then you're not hiring me. It's simple math. Okay. Bye bye. Hello. Hi. I'm looking for work. You hiring? Ah, uh, okay. So you can just come in and just find anyone. Uh, not not the moment. Particle but... beam weapons is my specialty. If you have one aboard your ship, I can use it to reduce your enemy to atoms. N nice, nice, nice. I don't think I've got any particle beam weapons on my on my, my ship at the moment. I'm afraid. Suit yourself. But, but thanks. Yes. Outpost management specialist. Random citizen who looks scared out of his mind. Who's this? Some kind of bounty hunter, maybe? The hunter. <laughs> Not used to people coming up to me. And the suit usually scares them off. <laughs> Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? I guess you could say I've always had it. Once you've been all over, like I have, you might find yourself in something like this, too. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, I, I go all over. A little psychological warfare up front and tends to make things easier. Retired, actually, from too many lives to count. But I've been all those things, yeah? And a few more. I spend okay, a lot okay. of time in the fringes these days. God help you if you come across something someone wants. You'd think it was things like civilizations and factions that cause people to want to shoot each other. No, even without that, it's still winner take all. to me. Aha. Of course. <laughs> That's what makes the reality so tragic. Wait a second. I think I'm in danger of having a real conversation with someone for a change. Aha. <laughs> Better stop here. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see each other again. It's a cool outfit. Very mysterious. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Hello, hey Barkeep. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? It sure is. Oh. No, it's not. I apparently grew up here. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and yet here we are. Only just meeting for the first time. Tell you what. As a hometown boy, I'll give you one on the house. Let me know Sweet. if there's anything I can get you. Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well, speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of Freestar sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. 
Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquiles City that weren't totally critical, but come on. This sir has a lot of facial been? expressions going on. It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? <laughs> I can tell. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous. Galaxy-wide. You would love it, I guarantee. Mm. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. Aha, sounds like another intergalactic mission, eh? Small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship... Less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. <laughs> I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really? I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? An ominous, uh, ominous tone. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. But I mean, at least, at least she's passionate news. about... I am in drink. no way asking you to do mm -hmm. anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the mm -hmm. larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to mm -hmm. another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, well, well, well. hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, mm -hmm. well... <laughs> that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? Uh-huh. Why not? <laughs> I'm in. Who do I need to kill? Jesus. That escalate. That would escalate quickly. God, yeah, why not? You have no idea what a relief this is. Access secure and storage. Cool. not cool. expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. Good. I, I wasn't planning on doing that. To Sneaking. To get what I need. I was going to sneak in. Yeah. No hostages. <laughs> I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. Okay. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. <laughs> Good save right at the end. Okay, so maybe going talking to the ship I text then. the usual security release forms, but because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, <laughs> I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. New mm. Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No. no of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. Well, probably. Okay. Stop by any time you'd like to catch him. Okie dokie. Right. Where are these ship decks? Distilling confidence. Okay. Show on map. Can I see surface map? That's where I am. Right. It's not far away. Okay. Good 
good to see you. Right. Over there somewhere. Do I need to take a do that? Let's go find a way to nab. A diplomatic visa? Up behind the ship. Okie dokie. Gaining C2 and full you. Okay, fine, yeah. Yeah, it's got to not run too much. I'm not super fit. I don't know who's this. Hey, this oh. really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with? Maybe. Uh, not really sure. Whenever they get through their backlog, I guess. No reason you're asking? Yeah. Shouldn't persuade them. I can't really just let you in there. The answer's still no. Yeah, dang it. This isn't getting us anywhere. Uh oh. Look. Okay. I'd like to help, but... But... Well, that's... Aha! Fine. Thank you. All right, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. I could lose my job over it. That was easy. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. You got it? Yep, got it. I guess I could have... Ah, I could have like, hacked the computer as well, maybe. All right, make it quick, will you? Yep. E -e -e. I mean, I might as well take everything, right? Because why not? I don't see here. Thank you. If anyone asks, I didn't do anything. No, no, exactly. Thank you, my good man. Doop a doop a doo. <whistles> Nothing to see here. Everything's fine. La 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 la. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine going back to Constellation and having a conversation with them after after this. Oh, what did you... Uh, where did you go in, instead of... Can I jump over this? Probably not. Probably should walk down like a normal human being, right? Don't mind me. Everything's fine. Have a good one. The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there. Nothing's changed. There's loads of activities just popping up all over the place. That's quite cool. I guess as you're going past things and hearing things, but yeah. No, yeah, go back to Constellation with it. Oh, what took you so long? Oh, well, I spent my evening just, you know, wandering around trying, you know, just finding ways to acquire. Uh, Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Illegally seized goods. Hey there, it's fine. new guy. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Uh, yeah, I've got a present for you. Oh, no way. You really got it? Sure did. I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. <laughs> if you see security questions you, <laughs> you and I never met, I called in a favor. Don't worry. No one died getting this. I certainly okay. hope not. This is a huge deal to me, but it's not worth either of us murdering over. No, it's well, fine. Look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first yes. ever sample. So it blows On my head of off. That, Game over. You get free drinks. Not not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick me up now and then? I got you covered. 
Sweet. I need some time to work Great on ranks. what next. But this? This was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. Hmm. Nice. 2,000 credits as well, that's all right. Lucky for you, that is literally my job. What can I get you? Can I get my free drink? I like how it's all under aid, as if. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin A. Savignon is, uh, is aid. <laughs> I mean, I quite like this. It's a, it's a plus twelve percent persuasion chance for five minutes, but minus fifteen percent OT recovery for five minutes. They're on for a nice Pinot Noir. Some port. Departure time. A single shot of alcohol. Bartender's choice. Oh. New arrival. I think that's what they gave that she gave me when I came in. A classic highball made with whiskey and soda, garnished with lemon, nuts and ingredients. I mean, it's okay. Sparkling wine, supernova. What's this? A liqueur slash floating over a sour punch of exotic energy. That sounds quite nice. I'll have one of those, please. But where's my free drink? I don't actually want to to buy one really. See you around. Okay, bye. Ah, here we go. We've got a new skill point. So let's use it on the carry capacity then. Uh, yeah, there we go. Sprint for a thousand meters while at 75% or more of your maximum load capacity. Okay, I don't need to be at maximum, just 75% of maximum. Okay, fine. Uh, so that'll be uh, 1,045. So that'll be a hun yeah, 107, 108? 109, yeah, it rounded up, won't it? Um, Yeah. Okay, fine. So I can. I've got a bit more room anyway, and then I just need to sprint Anything for. Anything I can do for you? I don't know. Yeah, can you? All day in the big city. There is a huge tree in the embassy district, across from the mass station. Trust me, it may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it at least once when they're in the city. It's so cool. Oh, maybe I just love trees. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis, so there's no shortage of people to meet. I love talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys. Not to like mention the it's nice again. and safe. Unlike my brother's job. Okay, what does what does your brother do? He's a marine. Ah, and if okay. that wasn't bad enough, he's stationed in Sidonia. He keeps telling me it's safe and how he loves his job, but I just worry about him so much. All I ever hear about Sidonia is how many people get hurt in accidents there. I just pray that he'll be okay. I hope you're right. I just have such a hard time believing that, though. But, oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dump all of that onto you. It just feels good to get it all off my chest. No worries. Have a good Goodbye. one. Goodbye, Goodbye, Logan. Quick, run away. Or someone else starts talking to me. Or following me. Oh, it's our adoring this fan. All feels like a dream. So if <laughs> anyone tries to pinch me, I will smack them in the face. Charming. And run away. Let's go. Okay, well, there's plenty of other activities we can do in uh, New Atlantis, that's for sure. Let's, um... 
Let's go and do what we need to do with. We've done that. What other activities? There's plenty of other activities, but that's fine. Let's go and talk to Sarah. I have a feeling today's going to be a great day. Um, maybe, Donna. Maybe today will be a great day. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Forest has come alive at night. I'm stuck into a tree. There we go. Let's hop the fence. Yeah. Ooh, almost took too much CO2. It's fine. Hello, everybody. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Sure am. Hey, whenever you're up for it, we have work to do. Okie dokie. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects get back a lot of noise usually but a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising <laughs> my first mission a volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space uh -huh. they're always looking for recruits lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull my contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Sounds a tad uh, risky, but we yeah. have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. True, That's true, true. why the constellation exists. Leave the strange rock in a way, to us. To put pieces like this together. Jumping to anthropology on me already. Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Okay. Sarah will be locked as your follower if you continue. Okay, that's fine. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent free? Ye we yeah. do have some funds we can disperse from time mm. to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're Yay. explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Gotcha. Okay. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Gotcha. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Okay. We need we to now? talk to John Tuala in Mast. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe another time. Okay. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did, now would be a good time for one. <laughs> Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. <laughs> 
don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. That's nice. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. <laughs> in the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. Ah. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common. And I was invited to join Constellation. I mean, that's a, that's a good resolution to come out of it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but, you know, if <laughs> the label fits. That sure lines up with everything else about these artifacts. It's all connected. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Fair enough. Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Take care of yourself. Okie dokie. Alright. Okay, Sarah's following us now. I'm guessing, yeah. Sergeant Yumi's looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Okie dokie. time rather than running over the uh, roof. I'm not sure uh, Sarah might <laughs> might not follow us. We have company. Good day, ma'am. You too. I don't think you know who you're dealing with. I, I don't. That's fine. You I'm should be going to. now. Okay. Sounds dodgy. Hello? What? Two friends can't have a chat? No. Not interested. Okay, bye. Maybe I'll have to sneak back there one evening. Oh, what's this? Oh, I can unlock it though. Log picks. Right, okay, so that one could fit there. Or it could fit. No. So it could fit there or there. Let's go over there for the first one first and see what about this one. Can we get this one into any particular slots? Okay, so that one could do that, which might be a good fit. And then we've got these two to fold off, which I think that one can do. So yeah, so there we go. So one, two, four. Four, uh, three and five. So that that's those two done. So that means potentially then the next two can be done on the inner ring then. So we've got those two there, and then we just need to see if these ones will fit. Okay, that one will fit there, and then can we flip that one round? Why? Remember what we talked. I'm trying. We'll get there. It's fine. I've got. I've got a, a good feeling. I think I'm gonna have to switch one of the other ones round. 
Do I think this one needs to go into a different one? I think that one needs to go there, which means one of the outer ones is going to be different, I think. So I think maybe this one, rather than that one going there. So that one and that one is fine. I need... I wonder if I can... Can I pivot this round into any other direction, or does it have to go there? Let's find the one that can't go anywhere else first. Okay, so that can go there, which I think is the constant. Then... That one there. So those two. So that's the outer ring done, and then the inner ring... That can go there, and then I need those two little ones down the bottom. Right, so in that case, that's not going to work. So in fact, the inner one probably needs... That's the only way it can go, right? For that inner one. Let's try and line up to the inner ones quickly. Yeah, no, that's fine. So that one can only go there. Um, so that's the outer bit there, and then that one does that. So then we're left with the inner bits, which I don't think currently work in this form. So we might need to change one of these around. Oh no, so that fits there. So that goes through there and that one. And then I need that one and that one. Oh no, so that is it. I've got it. That does that one and that one. And then we just need a cross, which is that one and that one. That one does that one, that one, that one, which means we're just left with those. Yep, we've got it. Huzzah! Ooh, a smoked fillet. Of alien salmon. <laughs> and there was a good reason that was locked. No, it's just salmon in a lockbox. It's fine. <laughs> One odd response. Right, where do we need to see it? We can go down over that way. Oh, that's down below us. Do we need to go down and round? Yeah, I feel like we need to go down and round. Okay. Will she follow me if I jump this rail? Let's find out. Or have I lost her now? Oh god! No, okay, she she will just jump. Fine. It's fine, everything's fine. Right. Let's get over there. So many missions just appearing. Amazing. An explorer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And like, she literally, like, the last words she said to me were, were basically, "I don't care how you do it, just don't get caught and bring the, bring the space popo back to us." That, that's literally what she said. So, I mean, come on, double standards. Oh. Swearing in ceremony. In all your actions as members of the United Colonies Navy. I'd forgotten it's been such a long time since I've played uh, like an Elder Scrolls game and been used to seeing like the general background hustle and bustle from NPCs, which is nice. Well I won't spoil anything, but space popo is interesting. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Right, they're all off. See you later then. I'll keep a lookout for them. I will so, in fact, I think what we'll do is we'll save this for the stream tomorrow. This is where we'll, we'll pick up, because that's a good time to stop, and we can go and grab some food, and then it's community games night. So, let's make a save. And we'll end things there. There we go. All right. Well, thanks everyone for tuning on in again. Uh, I hope, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the escapade. We've hopefully done something a little bit more interesting this time around, rather than just character 
creation and um and being stuck in a, a pirate base we managed to get out of there but um yeah hopefully tomorrow we'll be doing some more more questing and perhaps getting out out into space a bit more which would be cool you don't have to keep an eye out for them just wait for them to catch you the oh cool okay that's cool that's cool Oh well, that that'll be yeah, that'll be in uh, interesting then to see what kind of uh, choices we make down the down the road, and what not. Um, but yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it again. As I say, it's uh, it's been a while since I've like played a Bethesda game like you know, like like this that it has all of the kind of the background NPC missions and quests ongoing in the background, doing their own thing and and everything else. So it's 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 nice. It's nice to. Uh, yeah, jump back into it and have that all, all ongoing, which is cool. Right, um, we'll go and raid. Um, we're going raid uh, Casa again because they're still streaming Starfield, and yeah, we'll Millie will be streaming a bit later on tonight uh, for Community Games Night. Yeah, it, it really does, doesn't it? it? It it's got kind of everything that I would want in a uh, in a story story driven game. Um, as you know, as I've come to expect from Bethesda games, it's you know that that's the that's the calling you know of it. It's a, it's always a good good single player experience with a lot you know of a lot of options to go on. You know, like like with that quest that we literally just did, that like mission we just did for the rare ingredients for the for the drink. You know, there there were clearly multiple avenues we could have taken. We could have waited for that guard probably to have walked off, um, hacked the computer. We could have pickpocketed one of the security guards for uh, for an access card i suspect uh, all sorts of things and you know this is just you know right at the beginning of the game so who knows what uh, what what else we'll get up to and uh, what mysteries we'll um uncover in the process but yeah all right well yeah thanks everyone for tuning on in i'll um i'll hopefully be on be on streaming between 10 and 11 tomorrow and well yeah we'll crack on with more starfield then but yeah until then ciao for now <laughs>